Alrighty, folks. Well, I'm uh, back here in the woods again. This time I'm in a pine forest. And uh, I think I'm going to set up a teepee tent over here. Uh, the ground's flat there. So I've uh, got lots of wood. It's kind of pine resinous wood, so uh, it's not going to be the best for a clean burn, but it should do. Got a new stove. Uh, I'm going to set that up and get the first burn done in that. And uh, yeah, we'll get ready for tonight and uh, have a good cookout. So if you're just tuning in, this here's uh, the Pali, Pamali TP tent. And uh, today I got their stove. It's a new stove. Uh, I'm going to do the first burn. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty good. I'm going to actually set it up in the tent, but I'm going to open up the doors so that uh, any of the fumes or oils in the metal can burn out. Uh, so tonight it'll be uh, nice and safe and we don't have to worry about any chemicals and stuff. Anyway, I'll get this set up. Looks like someone already had a fire here a long time ago. It's uh, some ash. It's kind of funny, I set right back up on the same spot. Anyway, this will be a little safer if there's pine needles gone. I can't even get past the Velcro. Got a poker, spark arrester, the chimney attaches to, to this here from this side. Brand new, haven't been used. I gotta work this thing in. So that's what we're doing next. So I gotta warn you right now. This stove is beautiful, and you'll see what I mean in a second. So as you can see, it's got glass on both sides, front, Look at this design. This is like a limited edition woods one. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Like it's, it's beautiful. And 
And that's it. Beautiful. So the tricky bit to this stove that I found online is getting the chimney rolled out. They actually send gloves. I'm going to use my own. Um, but yeah, this is a thin titanium. Um, it rolls out. There's a few different ways to do it. Use a pool noodle. try the other way it's spool it out from in the middle I'm not gonna lie, that was uh, a little bit complicated, but I just took my time. I never kinked it though. So uh, yeah, just take your time if it's your first time doing it. And uh, yeah, it should be all right. For those of you that watch my uh, channel, I have that uh, Trailblazer takedown buck saw. That's retired. I retired it and I'm rocking the Boreal 24 inch. And if you notice, I said 24 inch. They have three sizes now. There's a 15 inch, the original 21 inch, and now the 24 inch. So yeah, so I put the other one away. It's retired, still worked. I had it for 15 years. The company went out of business uh, so yeah, I decided uh, I'm going to upgrade. Smell fat wooden that. It's a little tiny bit. Mmm, man, can you ever tell? Might not see it. It looks wet right here. That's fat wood. It's not a lot. Man, can you ever smell it? had to check the, the length of the stove to make sure I don't cut them too long. This one's a bit too long. It's not like uh, having a campfire. We're not too worried about the length. I suppose I'll get used to it though.
know if it's uh, worth making feather sticks, but we'll try it. Might help anyway. So this is all pine around here, so if there's a lot of resin, it's going to blacken up the glass, which isn't really the stove's fault. It's going to be more mine, this is the area I stopped in. But that's okay. It'll be cleaned tomorrow, I'm sure. Yeah, that might be enough to help. This is pretty dry wood, so it shouldn't be too bad. Once I get this initial burn in, I'll get some more wood and get ready for a fire pit outside. That's the plan. This will be all right for a fire tonight. I'm not gonna have a big, big one. Uh, this is all rock clay. There's some sand and dirt in there. That'll be safe. Now that the sun's out. Well, that was quick. So as soon as the sun hits it, red light goes on. She's got power. So today I have some new O lights. This is the Pur Run. I have the Pur Run Mini. This is the Pur Run 2. This thing's wicked. Comes with a head mount so you can mount it to your head or you can just hold it. But this thing's a, a dandy, it's huge. Anyway, I'm gonna charge this up while the sun is still rocking. This is magnetic which is pretty cool. And I got this little one, you just twist it. It's got like, you just twist it, it's got two settings. So the big one I'll plug into this. This is a 40 watt red it's charging or it's dead and it's charging yeah so this is a 40 watt solar panel it actually comes with leads uh, no I don't think I brought them today it comes with leads I can hook it up to the bike as well and charge the battery and this one when it has a green light on it it's taken uh, 
power from the sun too. So we'll just leave these here. Yeah, so I'll just let those charge up and then uh, get some more wood for that fire for supper time. tree down there is full of old man's beard. That's what we call it. So that's the green stuff here. It's good for uh, starting fires. Okay, I'm going to get this outside fire pit ready to go. Actually, I'm just going to start it and steal some fire from the, from the stove. So the plan is to cook some salmon, asparagus, and some shrimp out here on the fire on the grill. And then tomorrow we'll probably do breakfast on the stove. Because it's going to be, I think it's going down to minus 7 tonight. And it's going to be like that first thing in the morning, so it's going to be nice and cold. Really get to test out that stove. Some lemon juice. It sticks in there now. Lots of lemon juice, it's good. Put some dill. Lots of dill. That's pretty. Trailway Brewing Company. This is a local beer from Fredericton, New Brunswick. It's good. Sunset.
Throw a little butter in on that. The shrimp's actually already cooked. There's a bag of shrimp. It's got a thaw it out actually. Oh. I don't know what that was. If that was a coyote or what? So I'm going to do a little flashlight test. I got the Peron, Peron 2. This is the low setting, medium, and that's high. And then if I turn it off, I'll go turbo. And that's the turbo setting. That's crazy bright. These are the other two light so light scent. This one I have the red version of this. It's a 3T EOS. And then there's this little mini one. This is like a keychain one. This is the 1R2 EOS. It has uh, two, two modes. It, it clicks and holds. That's really nice. Um, that's a replaceable battery, so you screw the back off. All right, so this keychain one, you twist it uh, clockwise, and then you get a low setting, and you keep going, and then it goes high. The neat thing about this is when you back it all the way off counterclockwise, it springs open, and the charging port's right there. So that's pretty cool. It's spring loaded. Well, I'm just going to sit here, have my beer, folks, and uh, catch you in the morning. Have a good one. So if you're wondering how the stove did in the hot tent last night, uh, once I got everything closed up, it was so hot in here, I was down on my t-shirt, down into my t-shirt, boots off, and I was still hot. So the stove 
This size stove heats this kind of tent up really good. Set them here until I get the potatoes in. Sizzling hot. Mm. Mm. I'm just getting uh, packed up here, folks, and that'll uh, be it for this trip. 
Just gotta take the stove out, take the tent down, and I'm good to go. Basically. Easy peasy. As always, folks, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.